For this Valentine's creation, we'll be going through my cheese by numbers method. This is a six step method to creating the perfect cheese plate every time. Step one is cheese. And on this board, we have some delicious creamy French brie that I'm cutting into the shape of a heart. We also have an aged Gouda, which has a really wonderful, robust caramel flavor. Step two of cheese by numbers is the meat. I'm folding slices of salami to make salami roses, which ties into that fun Valentine's Day theme. Step three of the cheese by numbers method is the produce. Today we have dried cherries on the cheese plate to add in a nice sweet flavor. Dried cherries and aged Gouda are one of my all time favorite pairings. They complement each other so well. Step four of the cheese by numbers method is the crunch. I love using Vasa crisp bread on my charcuterie boards, but you can also use any other crackers you have on hand. Step five of the cheese by numbers method is the dips. Today we are pairing the cheese with a beautiful strawberry champagne jam. Super fancy for Valentine's Day. Step six of the cheese by numbers method is the garnish. You can garnish with edible flowers, fresh herbs, and today I'm garnishing with these pink chocolate hearts. And there you have it, a festive charcuterie board for Valentine's Day using the cheese by numbers method. Happy Valentine's Day.